Morning. I'm going to read you a story today that uh, makes me think of a lot of things that have been in the news lately about people crossing the border. Many people come to uh, our southern border to find work and to be able to earn a better living for their family and also to escape um, things that are dangerous where they're living. But migrants have always followed the crops and this is a story about uh, a migrant. Pancho Rabbit and the Coyote. One spring, the rains did not come and the crops could not grow. So Papa Rabbit, Senor Rooster, Senor Ram, and other animals from the rancho set out to find work in the great carrot and lettuce fields in the north. There they could earn money for their families. Many harvests went by and it was finally time for Papa Rabbit to, Rabbit to return home. His family was preparing a big fiesta. Everyone on the rancho was excited to see him, especially Pancho Rabbit, his eldest son. I heard Mama telling Senior Duck that Papa saved enough money in El Norte so that he won't ever have to leave us again, Pancho told his brothers and sisters. They were helping Mama cook Papa his favorite meal, mole, rice and beans, a heap of warm tortillas, and a jug full of fresh agua miel. The musicians arrived and began to tune their instruments while Pancho and his sister hung Papa Piget Picado to decorate the patio. The rabbit's friends from the rancho began to arrive. Everyone is very excited to have him return. They listened to the musica, they ate some mole, and they waited and waited, but Papa Rabbit did not appear. He must have had a late start, said Mama Rabbit. Maybe the weather was bad and they had to find shelter, said Pancho's youngest sister. They waited some more, but still, Papa Rabbit did not come. He was still not to be seen. When it was dark, the musicians and the guests said their goodbyes and headed home. Your Papa will certainly arrive by morning, Signora Duck told Pancho and his family. After waiting and worrying long into the night, the rabbit family finally went to bed. I have to find my father, Pancho said. He packed Papa's favorite meal, mole, rice and beans, a heap of still warm tortillas and a jug full of fresh agua miel. He placed it in a mochita to carry on his back and headed out. Pancho followed the stars north. After walking a while, he met a coyote. Good evening, little rabbit. Where are you going? Good evening, Senior Coyote. I'm going north to meet my papa who has been working in the carrot and lettuce fields, replied Pancho. Oh, it'll take you days and days to get there on this trail, replied the coyote. I can show you a shortcut. That is, if you give me that sweet and spicy mole you have, I smelled it a mile away. Pancho did not wish to give his father's mole away, but he missed him terribly. As long as he gets me closer to Papa, he said, and he let the coyote have it. The coyote led Pancho to the train tracks. At the, as the sun rose, he showed Pancho how to jump onto a passing car. The train was running so fast, poor Pancho almost fell off. They rode atop the train, zooming through the countryside. When the train slowed for a curve, Pancho and the coyote leaped off. We must now cross the river, said the coyote. Senor Coyote, I don't know how to swim, said Pancho. The water was murky and rushed by very fast. He was scared. I can help you reach the other side, said the coyote, but I will be exhausted after I do. Once we are across, I will need to eat the rice and beans you are carrying to regain my strength. Fine, said Pancho, as long as it gets me closer to Papa. The coyote picked up a tire that was junked on the riverbank. 
Pancho gathered all his courage and held on tight. Splash! They jumped into the river. The coyote helped him float to the far bank, and although he did not want to, Pancho gave the coyote the rice and beans, just as he had promised. The sun was high in the sky now. Pancho and the coyote walked on and soon reached a very tall fence that separated the south from the north. It was impossible to jump or climb over. There is a tunnel we can use, said the coyote, but the snakes watch it. If you give them the tortillas you are carrying, I'm sure they will let us through. As long as it gets me closer to Papa, Pancho said and sighed. The coyote talked to the snakes. They agreed to let them pass, but demanded every single one of Pancho's tortillas. Pancho and the coyote ex and entered the tunnel. It was dark, narrow, and very long. Pancho is going through many uh, different things, all of them pretty scary for him. When they emerged, Pancho and the coyote were on the north side of the fence. They were in El Norte. The afternoon sun beat down on them and there was no shade. The coyote pointed to a hut in the distance. We can spend the night there, he said. In the morning, I will take you to the great carrot and lettuce fields and there you will find your papa. Pancho and the coyote walked under the desert sun. Poor Pancho's feet ached. Give me some of that agua miel you have, little rabbit, said the coyote. I feel dizzy. If I don't drink something, I will collapse and we will never get there. Pancho gave the coyote some agua miel. The sand and air were scorching hot and Pancho felt dizzy. He was very thirsty and he drank the remainder. As long as it gets me closer to Papa, repeated Pancho to himself in a daze. When Pancho and the coyote reached the hut, it was dark. The coyote built a small fire for light and warmth because at night the desert is freezing cold. I am so hungry that after all that walking, said the coyote, do you have any more mole, little rabbit? No, Senior Coyote, you ate it all. Any more rice and beans? No, Senior, you ate them all. Any more tortillas? No, Senior Coyote, the snakes ate them all. There is nothing left, not even a drop of agua miel. In that case, said the Coyote, I will roast you in the fire and eat you. With a cry, Pancho leapt for the door. He was the fastest animal back on the rancho and normally he could outrun the coyote, but he was tired from the long journey. He could not reach the door. He could not reach the window. All he could do was huddle in a corner as the coyote slowly approached. Suddenly, the door burst open. Who entered but Papa Rabbit? with Senor Ram and Senor Rooster. They soon had the coyote racing outdoors and far away with his tail between his legs. Panchito, mijo, said Poppy Rabbit and gave Pancho a hug. I thought I would never see you again. A gang of crows attacked us, said Senor Rooster. They took the money and gifts we were bringing back to our families and left us stranded in the desert. We heard your cries for help said Senior Ram. Your papa recognized your voice. We ran to you as fast as we could. Papa, said Pancho, I am so happy to find you and I know the way home. So Pancho led Papa Rabbit, Senior Rooster, and Senior Ram home. When they arrived, there was a big fiesta. There was mole, rice and beans, warm tortillas, fresh agua miel, and musica for everyone on the rancho. Pancho told his brothers and sisters about all the dangers he and Papa had faced. Please don't leave us again, said the rabbit children. We were so worried for you. I don't want to leave you, said Papa Rabbit, but the crows took all our money. If it doesn't rain enough again this year, and if there is no food or work here on the rancho, what else am I to do? I will have to leave again. 
and I will come with you, said Pancho. We will all go with you, said Pancho's brother and sisters. Let's hope it rains, said Mama. And that is the story. So there is a lot to think about in that. And like I said, that's something that's in the news these days. So uh, think about it. If you have a chance, talk about it. And I will see you soon. Bye.